YouTubers. This is Anonymous T. Hope you're having an amazing day today. Today, I am going to be reacting to the Ready to Love Season 5, Episode 13 preview, which is Reunion Part 1. Honestly, I hope it's only one part. Um, I am happy the season is finally over. I was so bored. It's tonight's season finale. I just wanted to recap the um, clips that we saw for the reunion preview. So first of all, we have a new host. We have Tanika Ray, who used to be a co-host of the TV show Extra. Um, those of you who might watch Extra, I think Mario Lopez may host it now, but it's basically a similar show to your Entertainment Tonight. Your E! News gives you like the latest celebrity news and celebrity, um, you know, interviews and they'll be on set for different movies and shows and that sort of thing. So she is hosting and I am curious to see how this dynamic is going to go if she will end up being a permanent host or if she is just the host because they are currently in D.C., um, and then they may go back to nephew Tommy in future seasons, but I am curious to see how this is going to shake out, if it's going to turn out to be a better flow. And since she has no ties to the cast or anything, um, it's going to be completely unbiased. And she's basically going to be asking questions kind of like the viewers, like what we just saw. So maybe it'll be a totally different reunion. Um, so right off the top, um, you know, she's asking around if anybody is nervous in the cast. Um, before they get to the reunion questions, she asks if, you know, Phil and Sydney are exclusive. Um, Camille and Cornelius, oh my gosh. So he has like a grill at the bottom of his teeth and Aisha calls her out for her saying back at the retreat that if anybody puts Cornelius at the bottom, she's going to F them up. And Camille and Cornelius are both like, oh, no, I would never say that. I would never do that. And I was like, you've got to be kidding me. Like, seriously, this is what we're doing at the reunion. Like, you haven't seen the footage and you haven't seen all these bloggers dragging you all season for how you've been conducting yourselves. Like, is this really the angle we're going to go? I hope the producer immediately rolls tape. I hope immediately. I hope it is on standby. I hope it is ready to go ready to play to show like a reel of Camille's messiness this season because I can't take anymore. Um, and, you know, Cornelius and her, they can have each other as far as I'm concerned. And then by Lau, he's up here acting a fool, um, talking about, oh, yeah, you know, some people here, they weren't looking for love. They were just looking for friends. And I'm like, really, really, really by Lau. All right. Um, you know, you have some nerve, let me tell you. So I don't know. It just felt very like, you know, it felt like there was a game plan in place with Nadia and Camille on how they were going to approach themselves at this reunion and basically have their men, you know, stick up for their nonsense, essentially. So that's what the vibes it was giving me because it pissed off Sydney to where she was like, nobody's going to check him. So it sounds like by Lau is the messy one who's acting out of pocket this reunion. And then it looks clear that things did not end well with Moomin and Frank and that Moomin's confronting him that, you know, he was never serious. He was never interested in looking for love and this and that. But here's the thing, like, I could have told you that, um, you know, Frank was just looking to have a good time. And honestly, you were his second choice. He would have picked Sydney any other day of the week because that's who he wanted. It's just so happened she chose Phil. So therefore, he chose Moomin. And Moomin, Frank wasn't even your first choice because you wanted Walter. But according to Walter now, now that we have seen some postseason interviews, apparently you let the brown girl squad, you let Camille and Zadia get in your head about Walter. And as a result... Um, here we are. 
I mean, it was clear to me that Walter was always into Moomin, but was just physically attracted more to Sabrina, but they had nothing of substance. So that's why I was so surprised at how things broke down so quickly between Moomin and Walter. And now that I know it was because she was being brainwashed by Camille and Zadia, she sabotaged herself. Um, because anybody would have told her that Frank is not looking for anything serious. Like, that was obvious from Jump. Um, so, so that's on that. Like, anybody that's on there that says they are a club promoter, they are a bouncer, they are a bodyguard, they're into the nightlife, they are not looking for love on this show. They are looking for exposure and a good time, which is why he was into Sydney. Um, so then the only other thing I want to say is, um, Aisha, I don't know why you went back to your blonde wig. I, it was just not giving. I love when you have black hair. I love, um, when you go to the black wigs, I feel like it brings out your features a lot more. It sounds like her and Dante are still together and it sounded like, you know, things are going well with the between the two of them. And actually, I think it could potentially work. Low key, they are giving me um, kind of this season's Riva and Mario type of vibes where they both could potentially last for real on the outside because they both can blend their families. You know, they both have been through some things and can be at that age where they're just focused in on each other and raising their kids and they could potentially last. So that definitely is a couple that I am going to be watching out for to see what progresses. And then I think the only other moment that we saw in the clip was um miss tasia she like walks off the set in the middle of taping and tanika ray is like you know what's going on to see are you okay and she's like this is ghetto <laughs> she said this is ghetto this is how i felt the entire season though tasia i feel you i feel you it is ratchet it is ghetto it is unnecessary these are professionals and it's it's looking very ghetto it's looking very suspect so it shows her walking off set it shows her going into like one of the green rooms and it looks it, like she's sitting down crying somewhere and it looks like libba and somebody else follows her in um it looks like there are a couple people missing because i counted i want to say there should be 22 people that are there um if you count the bombshells sean and sydney arriving however um, it looks like there's only 20, so I'm trying to figure out who the other person is that didn't show up, but I'm almost 99.9% .9 sure I didn't see Shiloh in the preview, and if that is the case, um, it could be due to some of what the cast has spoken out about in regards to the Phil and Shiloh situation and what did or didn't exactly happen and why both of their stories are completely different from each other. And it could be that she just might want to sit out the reunion and not deal with the questions regarding that. So um, unless she makes a surprise appearance or something of that nature, or maybe if she's featured in part two, who knows? But at least from what we saw from this initial teaser, I did not see her at all. Um, so that's on that. Um, so that is all I have. Um, let me know what you guys think. Um, I didn't even have time to really get into the fashions or how people looked or didn't look because I was really just trying to see the meat of what we were going to get to this first reunion. And I was just so floored because I already saw like how Camille and Zadia's influence was already taking um, shape of this reunion. And I don't like how it's going to go. But nonetheless, we will see if it levels out with a different host with Tanika Ray um, taking the reins of this reunion. So hopefully we can see a different dynamic than what's been the past four seasons with Tommy being the host. So we'll go from there and I will react, of course, once we get those episodes and see ultimately what transpires and if there's any new tea that's revealed or any new issues that are revealed amongst the cast members. So that is all I have. 
those of you if it's your first time viewing my channel welcome hope you come back another time and hope you can look at some of my playlists and some other things that i've reviewed in the past those of you who've been back multiple times i am thankful and grateful and appreciative of each and every single one of you and your support it means everything i try to you know respond to all you guys i try to interact with all of you guys i see all of the comments and um, I definitely appreciate all of the feedback and all of um, everything you guys say. I, it's greatly appreciative. Um, please do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Hit the notification bell so you are notified the moment that I post new content on my page. And per usual, I will talk to you guys again soon. Have an amazing rest of your day and have an amazing weekend.